Let's start by looking at a Chinese character. If you have never studied Chinese, you probably don't know how to read this character or what it means. But if I tell you that this character looks like this in Oracle Bone Script, can you immediately guess what it means? Yes, it means fish. However, not all Oracle Bone Script characters are as self-explanatory as the character fish. Let's look at another character. Can you guess what it means based on the shape of this character? I will tell you the answer at the end of this video. Hello everyone, welcome to Historically Accurate. In today's episode, I'm going to talk about Chinese characters. Unlike English, French, German, and other phonetic scripts, Chinese is an ideographic script. Each letter in a phonetic script has its own pronunciation, but individual letters have no meaning. Ideographic characters, on the other hand, don't directly or simply represent the pronunciation, but more importantly, each character has specific meanings. Simply put, ideographic characters are symbols. In Chinese mythology, the first person to invent Chinese characters was Cang Jie, the official historian of the Yellow Emperor. Legend has it that he had four eyes. By observing the behaviors of animals and the shapes of plants, he invented a writing system that expressed meaning through symbols, which put an end to the primitive rope-knot tying method for record keeping. The sky rained grains in celebration of Cang Jie's invention for mankind, while ghosts and monsters all cried at night after they heard the news. They knew that mankind would become smarter with the invention of writing and would definitely be more difficult to deal with. Of course, this is just a tale. I only believe that Cang Jie had four eyes, and everything else must have been made up. <laughs> just kidding. In fact, Cang Jie was definitely not the only person who invented Chinese characters. He was more likely to be a symbol organizer who collected, organized, or even systematized the symbols invented by various tribes. So in ancient China, what did these original symbols look like? The most famous were oracle bone script characters engraved on turtle plastrons and animal bones. The oracle bone script was excavated in Yin ruins, the ruins of Yin, the capital of the Shang dynasty, and has been 3,600 years old. This is the most sophisticated writing system ever discovered in China. Since the discovery of the Oracle Bone Script, more than 154,600 pieces of Oracle Bones have been excavated, with a total of 4,500 individual characters on them. An average high school graduate in China can read between 4,000 and 5,000 characters. Of these 4,500 Oracle Bone Script characters, about 2,000 have been deciphered. So what exactly did those Oracle Bone Script characters record? Usually, an Oracle Bone was used in the following four situations. First, the divination officer recorded at the edge of an Oracle Bone the origin of it and how it had been stored. Second, the divination officer burned an oracle bone with fire to crack the front of the bone. These cracks were divination signs which were interpreted for insight into the questions being asked. The sequence of the divinations was also numbered and the numbers were engraved below related signs. Third, the divination officer engraved the process and result of the divination activity on the bone. Fourth, an oracle bone could be engraved with calendar. In addition to the oracle bone script, hieroglyphs much older than the oracle bone script characters have been discovered at the Da Di Wan site in Gansu, the Jia Hu site in Henan, and the Liangzhu site in Zhejiang. These hieroglyphs are not nearly as sophisticated as the oracle bone script characters. But you can tell that the hieroglyphs were actually not much different from pictures in the early days. After the Oracle Bone Script, as brown smelting technology matured, the ancient Chinese people would engrave characters on brown's wares. Those characters were called brown script or large seal script. 
Brown script was widely used after the Shang Dynasty, and its characters appeared in large numbers on the excavated bronze wares of the Western Zhou period. Statistics shows that there are 3,722 characters in the Brown script, and 2,420 of them can be deciphered. In the Spring and Autumn period and the Warring States period, scripts used by each state gradually became different due to the division of the vassal states. It was only after Qin Shi Huang conquered the other six states that the Brown script was gradually replaced by the unified Small Seal script. The Small Seal script was created by Li Si, the Chancellor of Qin, by simplifying and modifying the Large Seal script. If the Large Seal script is compared to the traditional Chinese at that time, the Small Seal script can be regarded as the simplified Chinese. Soon after the Small Seal script was created, a new writing style emerged from the people, clerical script. The clerical script, which was flatter and much simpler to write than the Small Seal script, gradually became popular and eventually replaced the Small Seal script in the Han Dynasty. As you can see, starting from the clerical script, the look of Chinese characters became quite similar to what we see today. The clerical script was the turning point in the history of Chinese characters. After the clerical script came the regular script, which is the script used by the Chinese today. As you can see, the regular script is more simplified and more regular than the clerical script. Each character is more like a square with all the strokes distinct from each other. The above is the history of Chinese characters. Next, I will talk about some of the logic behind the creation of Chinese characters. Take the oracle bone script as an example. The easiest to understand are those symbols that represent animals, such as fish, bird, elephants, tigers, deer, etc. Let's look at the character Da, means big. In the oracle bone script, the character Da looks like this. Does it look like a standing person? Yes, the four-eyed Cang Jie used the image of a person standing firmly on the ground with open arms to express the meaning of big. Then what does Ren, means person, look like? In the oracle bone script, the character Ren looks like this. It is an image of a person standing sideways and working with the hands outstretched. This is because the ancient Chinese people believed that the only way to truly define human attributes was to work with one's hands. Let's look at another character, An. In the oracle bone script, it looks like this. A house with a woman sitting inside. In the ancient Chinese agriculture society, a man with his own house and a wife was considered to have accomplished most of the important things in his life. So this explains what I represents. Safety, stability, tranquility, and settlement. Some of you might ask, what is the character if someone suddenly catches this movement? The Oracle Bone Script does have such a character which looks like this. It is the character Xi. It looks like a person captured and tied up with ropes. In ancient times, this character meant a slave who was caught, or a slave who was tortured and mocked. In Chinese, Xi Luo means to mock. Do you still remember the character Ji that I mentioned at the beginning of this video? In the Oracle Bone Script, it looks like a hand catching a fleeing person. Therefore, the character Ji means to catch up or reach from behind. Let's look at another character which is more difficult to understand. If I tell you that this drawing shows a seated person with his mouth wide open, can you guess what it means? It means that the person is yawning. But this character actually means lacking and not enough. It also develops the extended meaning of borrowing someone's belongings but not returning them, or not giving something to someone when it should be given. So why does the person with the wide open mouth represent these meanings? It turns out that the ancient Chinese people believed that yawning was due to lack of breath and the need to breathe in which gave the character the meaning of lacking. If we look at the character Qian in the brown script, we will find that the head with the wide open mouth was replaced with the image of air. So what is the character if two dots are added next to the oracle bone script Qian? If you know Chinese, you may have guessed it. It is the character Ci. 
It looks like a person sneezing with his mouth wide open in the Oracle Bone script. And the person who sneezes is considered to be in poor health. Therefore, this character has a meaning of stagnation and poor quality. Now we can tell that using existing characters as radicals to create new characters in Chinese is exactly the same logic as using root words to create new words in English. This reminds me of how hard it was for me to learn chemistry in high school because English is not my first language. I was able to memorize the names of many compounds later because I learned to use root words. We will stop here due to time limit. If you have any thoughts and suggestions, please leave your comments below. If you like my video, please like, subscribe, turn on the notification bell, and share with your family and friends. See you next time!